Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. Today's day is November 30th, 2023. I'm going to take a Forex quick look at the New Zealand versus U.S. dollar. Looking at this uh, currency pairing and going back in time to the end of July and early August, we had this uh, swing area that uh, formed uh, within this uh, the area right through here where we had uh, swing lows and then we broke below and then tried to use uh, this area as a resistance level. The last thing the market did was, uh, on this uh, day right here was find uh, willing sellers against that level and we pushed to the downside. It wasn't until this week that the price moved back toward that area, found initial sellers against that level after breaking above the 100-day moving average and 50% retracement. This is a key level right through here. Uh, the price moved into that swing area, then rotated to the downside. And what some often happens uh, when you get a key technical break, there might be some uh, reluctance, especially after a sharp move. And this was in the early Asian session as well. So uh, the price did rotate back to the downside, moved back below those key levels, but then re regathered itself and moved higher. Now, admittedly, the uh, Reserve Bank of New Zealand interest rate decision on that, that day helped push the price to the upside. Why? Because uh, the Reserve Bank of New Zealand kept rates unchanged, but they were more hawkish in their, their uh, uh, commentary. And uh, that helped to increase the uh, New Zealand versus New Zealand uh, dollar and push the price uh, of the uh, pair to the upside, breaking above the 61.8% retracement at 0 0.6167. That is of the move down from this July high to this October low. Big trend-like move uh, to the downside over that uh, time period. And the uh, retracement level uh, has uh, since been rebuilding and building uh, and uh, we did uh, ex extend about the 61.8% retracement on that uh, uh, RBNZ move. But as you can see, the price uh, did rotate back to the downside, and we've been trading above and below the 61.8% retracement. Now, the corrective move to the downside today uh, on uh, the U.S. dollar buying uh, took the price all the way down to the high of this swing area uh, again down near the 0 0.6104, 0 0.6117 level that, uh, again, was uh, defined uh, going back to this uh, July, August period right through here. So the the uh, ability to find support against this swing area was key. It's key for buyers uh, who uh, look for more upside momentum. We broke above the 61.8% retrace. We traded above and below. We fell down below it, but how the support where there where we needed to hold support to keep that uh, uh, bullishness uh, going. So now we're back up testing the 61.8 0 0.6167. Uh, it's currently trading right around that level. And if we were able to get above that level, we'd look toward this uh, 0 0.6220 ish type area through here. That uh, level corresponds uh, not only with uh, swing highs uh, through here or here, but goes back to these levels right here where we had a ceiling, ceiling, ceiling for breaking that ceiling, coming back to the uh, what was now the floor, finding support against that level, trading above and below it, but then using that level right here as a resistance level before moving to the downside. So this would be the next key target on the top side for the New Zealand versus US dollar on further upside momentum. But first things first, you need to get above the 61.8% retracement, get above that level, stay above that level, look for 0 0.6220 as the next key target. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.